This is one of New York City's many polluted waterways. In fact, even though New York City is surrounded by water, you're better off not drinking any of it or it could wind you up in the hospital. So how exactly is this safe to drink? Or is it? You may not give much thought to the water your kids are drinking when they're in school, but perhaps you should. An Eyewitness News investigation found that lead in water fountains is a serious concern. Watery weirdness on the Hudson River in Rockland County is caught on camera. And now the state is trying to determine the source of these bizarre bubbles along the shoreline. Behind me, you see this uh, crazy scene. We've got crews trying to shut down that water main break right in the middle of Times Square. Even low levels of exposure have been linked to learning disabilities abilities, stunting of physical growth and damage to the nervous system. Look at all that water out here. We're surrounded by it, but none of it's drinkable. And that's surprising because New Yorkers consume roughly a billion gallons of water a day. That's 365 billion gallons a year. But if you think the water we're drinking comes from these toxic polluted waterways that have massive boats and all these people around them, the good news is that's not where it comes from. And the water that comes out of our faucets is much safer. At least that's what we've been told. But over the last year, disturbing reports have come out about lead being found in the drinking water Water millions of New Yorkers consume on a regular basis, most of whom probably don't even know it. We analyzed the most recent reporting data for schools in New York and New Jersey, and we found that 43% of schools in New York had water outlets test beyond the recommended maximum amount for lead in the drinking water. That report came out yesterday, and that's got me a little bit concerned, which is why we're going to test the water in a couple of different apartments to see if this is the case everywhere and if it's safe to drink. But before we go and do that, it's important to understand where New York City's water comes from from and how they clean it up so that people can drink it straight out of their faucet if they really want to. And what's strange is that even though we're surrounded by water in New York City, you definitely, you definitely do not want to drink what's out there. And there's a very good reason for that. You can see the weird bubbles coming up through the riverbed from under the shallow water. Ramsey shared the video with the environmental group Riverkeeper. That's crazy. And that came out of this same body of water a little bit further north, but you couldn't pay me to drink that stuff. In fact, drinking in any of these waterways, especially that polluted Gowanus Canal, oh, there's no way that's a good idea. That water is green and there's stuff floating in it. And there's two main reasons why this water and any of the local water around here is completely unsafe to drink. The first and most obvious reason is that the water here is routinely polluted by chemicals and other inorganic compounds. And think about this, whenever it rains in New York City and that water is winding its way down the street trying to get to the rivers, it mixes with trash and garbage and Chipotle burrito wrappers. It's really gross by the time it even gets to the water and then it goes in the water, which is also polluted. And although New York does have water treatment facilities that take the rainwater and sewage water and treat it before it's released into the rivers. Apparently when it rains in the city, that process doesn't work and the raw sewage just goes right in. And the reason that happens is because there's just so much water, the treatment plants will be overwhelmed, which means that at best, the water out here is partially treated, partially contaminated. Also, New York City's rivers, they flow directly into the Atlantic Ocean where they mix with seawater. So this is actually way too salty to drink anyways. And apparently desalination or the cleaning of seawater so that you can drink it is very expensive and very costly. But luckily, the people who started New York City and built this place figured out how to get fresh water from another location. Thank God they did. But we still have to test it for lead. So the reservoir watershed area is roughly 2,000 square miles. The city system consists of 19 reservoirs and three controlled lakes, has 580 billion gallons of storage. That's insane, actually. The fact that the water that we drink here comes from so far away. And it ultimately comes from a system of artificial lakes and reservoirs in the Catskills. And just like the water here in New York that you don't want to drink, the mountain water is also runoff, but it's melted snow. It winds its way down the mountain, just like a Poland Spring commercial. But it's melted snow and rainwater. It's not Chipotle burrito wrapper water. And here's a map of the aqueducts. You can see how it travels all the way down through the Bronx to the city. This is the special reservoir, but we're not just drinking this. It actually gets processed quite a bit before it makes its way into our apartments. And that's why the tap water in your apartment isn't the color we see out here before us. And the final step in the water treatment process is when it flows downstream from its final treatment location to the buildings and all the infrastructure that you see around here. Apparently there's enough pressure on the entire water system from gravity alone that 
that a building that's six stories high won't need additional pumps. But buildings that are higher than six stories, they need special systems inside of them to carry water up all those flights. And that's actually the purpose of those iconic water towers you see in some New York City buildings. There's drinking water in those, which then uses gravity to make its way down through the building and into your apartment. But in order for our water not to be this nasty green grayish looking color, it has to come from hundreds of miles away. And it's a long journey from start to finish. How do we know that nothing bad is happening to the water as it travels basically across the entire state? How do we know it's safe? This is a street side water testing station. This little guy is connected to the groundwater system that brings the fresh water in, and the city can open it up and test the water whenever they want. That way they can see exactly what's going into these buildings. But even before the water gets to a testing station like this, a whole lot goes on to protect it. And the city takes water quality very seriously. Protecting the precious resource from contamination is top priority. A dedicated police force patrols infrastructure from the air, on water, and the periphery. Swimming beneath the surface fish critical in detecting biological terrorism i didn't know they actually had reservoir cops but they do and they're watching to make sure nobody puts anything bad in the water nobody contaminates it nobody pollutes in it nobody just tries to dump all their old furniture in it and furthermore they've got agreements with people who live near the reservoir so that they can make sure that those folks are active participants in clean drinking water or rather the preservation thereof local farms local apartments the goal is to make sure they aren't unknowingly or involuntarily polluting the waterways at the source. And after the water leaves this here beautiful reservoir, it's disinfected with chlorine. That's to kill the bacteria. And then they also put fluoride in it, which fosters healthy teeth and conspiracy theories. Apparently they also hit the water with a UV light treatment to further kill whatever's in it. Which is because even though the water might be natural, bacteria and things that are bad for you and can make you sick, those are natural too. We gotta get rid of them. But it's still not ready to go into your apartment. It gets treated a second time with chlorine and fluoride. And one thing that's actually super important for New York City is they treat it with sodium hydroxide, which stops it from corroding the pipes in these really old buildings as it gets inside the building. If it corrodes the pipes, chemicals could leak out and make you sick that weren't in the water to begin with. And the final thing that happens to the water is they add food grade phosphoric acid to it, which also helps with the chemical leaching from pipes and infrastructure, like lead, which we're gonna test for and which shouldn't be in the water to begin with. More than 1,000 DEP employees help ensure the safety and quality of the drinking water. What starts here in the Catskills gets tested by scientists and robots. Floating on the Never Sink is DEP's continuous monitoring system. Now, in parallel with all of this disinfecting, scientists sample the water at various points in the system to make sure that it's safe at each of those points. And if unsafe drinking water were found in this building that's covered in spray paint, the city would do what they're probably doing at that school. They'd go to the nearest testing station, which in this case is right over here. They'd check that to see what's coming out of it. And if the test from this thing comes up clean, the problem is probably inside the building somewhere and they'll have to do further tests. And since the water is being tested at every stage of its journey from the reservoir to the apartment building, it should be perfectly safe to drink and our little water analysis kit should couldn't find any problems. It says I'm supposed to wait 10 minutes? Apparently these little guys have to absorb the water, but I got it in there at the fill line and now we just wait. This is how to read the results. Right now we're testing for pesticides and lead. This testing kit's also kind of a scam. It's 30 bucks and you can only do each test one time because they only give you a certain amount of strips for certain things. So I had to buy two tests to test for lead twice. And I think that the hardest part of this is just not disturbing it while you're waiting for the test to complete. You just kind of have to look at it, like a small child looking over a 
countertop. But regardless of what results we get, independent organizations have tested water in New York City and have found that although the city's water contains chemicals some of these groups might think are unsafe, every time they test the water, it's within allowable CDC, FDA limits. In a 2021 study, one group called the Environmental Working Group found that New York City water contains concerning levels of contaminants. But apparently the chemicals they found are byproducts of the disinfectant process and something else called chromium-6. Both of these can cause health problems like cancer and birth defects. So they're not good, you don't want them. But again, the levels of those are within allowable federal standards. And regardless of what our little test comes up with, I've been drinking New York City water straight out of the tap with no filter since I got here and I'm still five foot seven. Five foot eight, maybe. But it would be concerning if this place or my apartment showed bad water coming out of the faucets. It's definitely the right color, that's for sure. All right, and there we go. Okay, this is good news. The test seems to be working. Little blue line next to the one, faint line next to the two. And the lead test also has a line next to the number one. And according to our little paper here, that is a negative result. So no lead and no pesticides. So the reason that you'd wanna do tests like this is because a lot of the buildings in New York City still have lead pipes and lead contamination could be an issue. And that's probably how the school's water fountains have lead in them. Which is why it's not something the city can test from one of their water testing stations out on the street. It's the building that's doing it. And there's a chance that if you live in an old New York City apartment building, even if the apartment's brand new, you could have issues. Because because even if the apartment has a gorgeous brand new interior like this one, the pipes running underneath the floors probably are the same pipes that they've always been. And since many of the apartment buildings in New York City were made before lead pipes were banned, they're pretty much everywhere. But what about the water in my current apartment? And it's been 10 minutes. All right, so I got both tests right here. And you can see the number one is lit up here and over here. So these are good. No pesticides, no lead. But to be honest, I probably should have checked these before drinking the tap water for the last year and a half. But speaking of tap water, doesn't it have chlorine and stuff in it? How safe is that to drink? So it's true, enough chlorine and all these other chemicals, enough of that stuff in your water supply, it won't be good for you. But luckily we're not talking about a public pool here, we're talking about apartment water. And the CDC has appropriate levels that you can use for chlorine to disinfect water while it still remains drinkable. And even though the amount of chlorine that'll be in this pool, if it ever reopens, is gonna be way too much to drink, the amounts that are in your apartment drinking water are enough to get rid of bacteria and things that are bad for you. And waterborne diseases that come from bacteria are one of the reasons the WHO says that roughly a million people every year are suffering because they don't have access to reliable, clean drinking water. Which is very sad. That's how a lot of diseases come up is with untreated drinking water. But the good news is that if you're moving into a new apartment in New York City, like this one, the city will actually mail you a free testing kit so you can see if your water's safe or not. And if there's a problem with it, they can actually send somebody out to your building to investigate. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I missed anything about the water here in New York. I'll see you in the next video.